The man, Becky Lynch, is slated to return fairly soon. Many expect Lynch to return as a Raw superstar to pursue the Raw Women's Championship that she was never pinned or submitted for. But this might not be the case. Uh, this is Sean Ross Sapp uh, saying this, quote, That match being made for SummerSlam, the triple threat Raw Women's title match, was a bit of a surprise. A lot of people were expecting Becky Lynch to be back, but word is she might be headed to a different brand. So who knows, but they definitely need her back. He said this on a Fightful Select stream. Uh, Sap also did not know which brand she would be heading to, but leaving SmackDown seems like that's good. the direction that WWE are going in, and Sean Ross Sapp is... He's pretty he's pretty geared into what's happening in the wrestling world. He's like one of the one of the best reporters out there. But Trevor, what do you make of this? We said that Becky Lynch for Raw would be a breath of fresh air. They probably need that star power, need her there to kind of steady the ship, but looks like that might not be the case. What do you think should Becky Lynch move brands? Um, here's the thing. No matter what brand Be Becky Lynch goes to, she's the man. What it, and and that, that's it, point blank. Like it, it's not going to mess up her career. It's not going to mess up her fan following. It, if anything, is going to make whatever brand she's on better. So, I mean, it, as fans, we know she never lost her title. So it doesn't matter what title she gets at this point. It in in my mind, but whenever she comes back, she's going to go for a title because she never lost it. She gave it up for a legit reason. She had a kid. She brought life into the world. She got married. She had a legit reason for doing this. So whenever she comes back, she will be in the picture for a title shot. Now, again, what brand does she go to? Raw would, she would make Raw 10 times better, completely better. She would help SmackDown out as well. I mean, SmackDown doesn't need all, it, a lot of help, but SmackDown, you know, would benefit too. So would NXT. Mm -hmm. But it depends on what route you want to go. Because right now, the uh, NXT champion, she's doing a, a great job. I love Raquel her. Gonzalez. I love Raquel Gonzalez. I love the opportunity gave her. I think she's doing amazing. Again, and I we we you know how we feel about the EST of WWE. So again, so it's it's up in the air right now. The only title that seems like it needs to be change hands is the Raw title. And honestly, I like Nikki Cross. I do. And I wish they would have gave it to her in a better way in whatever have you. But we'll see what happens. We'll just see we, what happens. So for me, it, it's one of those things. The brand that needs Becky Lynch the most, the brand that needs the man, the most over person in wrestling today, it's, it's raw. raw. It's yeah. raw. That show is the show is garbage. That show has no very little to no excitement around it. Like Bobby Lashley, love him to death. He's not steadying the ship there. You have the man there, the big draw. You're there. They're a big star. They, they like Becky Lynch and Roman Reigns could be heading those two shows respectively, and, and it would work. and And they would have their their kind of captains, but that's not. But that doesn't look like that's what's happening. So, I don't get why they would do that. Becky Lynch, I think. I think Raw needs Becky Lynch more than Becky Lynch needs Raw. Obviously, Becky Lynch can go wherever. She go to NXT UK, be the most over thing in wrestling. Like that. That's not that. that that's not a thing. But as far as who needs her the most? It's Raw. Raw needs the kid, the kick, uh, in the butt the most. And honestly, Becky Lynch, again, the most over person in wrestling, like needs to, probably would help them in their ratings, especially. You would think with them slipping under two million a week, like they would want that. And especially with the NFL season coming up, going up against Monday Night Football, you might want that drawing power. But right. again, again, WWE, they could change their mind. They probably will. But when you ask me, you know. Wait, like, like, should she move brands? It's no. If she's not going to be on Raw, though, the only way I see her going to NXT is if WWE have made it like a big thing of they want NXT to succeed. They want like, like they they're just going all in on NXT to be an equal brand to Raw and SmackDown, which we know they don't treat it as, but. I don't see that as being likely. SmackDown, if not Raw, it has to be SmackDown, for being honest. And yeah. that would set up an interesting situation. The EST of WWE against the man, Becky Lynch. And that would be an interesting world title match, I think. Uh, or like that, I think that could be the time where Bianca actually loses the belt. Because look, look, if I'm being so honest with you. 
doesn't matter who has the belt. Becky would be better, so put it on her or build the storyline exactly. around her winning the belt back. Like th- that's the only way you're gonna help out the the failing ratings. That's the only way you're gonna get more excitement around the product. Sell out tickets. Like come on, Gigi. She's like she is. She's a mo- she's a money mover. That's what she does. So again, I I I don't I don't get why it would be SmackDown, but SmackDown looks like it would have to be it. Yeah, right now. I mean, because like you said, I don't see her going in NXT. Um, Raw would totally benefit from her much more than any other other uh, show. So, Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.